This is again the Mamba with another total just game in production. And this time we are gonna do one of my favorite decks that I've been waiting for to get to get support for as long as I can remember. And that will is the Purgatory Knight deck. So this has been one of my favorite decks since the since uh, they first came out like, almost a year ago, I want to say. Um, and they finally got some, such good support that they can one turn kill. They can come back from defeat. I played a lot of games with Jordan, who is the Indianapolis champion, um, and he had me in the corner to where I was. It was ten to two, and we just made a comeback that gave us the game because of this, this constant pressure and an overwhelming attack power that we get. So uh, my buddy is going to be Purgatory Knight's Demio Sword early. This card is really good because it's counter speed, pay gauge, uh, call him from your hand so you can do your whole set of attacks. You say you draw cards, you draw on him, you pay gauge, you draw him and get another set, stand up and do it again, just keep pressuring. Uh, and at a 5-2-1, he can hit almost everything nowadays. So yes, this is four of my buddy. Next we play four of the foundation of Purgatory Knight's Lord Demios. Um, he's pay gauge, put a, a Purgatory Knight from the drops onto his soul. He has move, and then he has the regular Demios effect of de re destroy Purgatory Knight, restand him as many times as you can, and you can uh, destroy it. He has move and soul guard at a 6-2-4, pretty strong defense power. Next we play four uh, Purgatory Knights, leader of condolence, Geist, Demios. Uh, this one is really interesting. Um, he's a 6-2-1, no call cost. And he destroys Purgatory Knights, and he gets three different effects. He gets either stand a card, draw a card if it's during the attack phase, or for the next time you build damage, reduced by three. So this is a really universal Demios uh, being the normal effect of restanding to attack in, drawing a card if you need it on the f on the first turn or whatever, and reducing your damage by three, keeping you from taking damage. This Demios is probably one of my favorites. I do want it to be the buddy. I do uh, want one more buddy rare to make it the buddy set. Um, so, you know, hit up the Toad Just Gaming YouTube channel and let us know if you have one for trade or sell. Next, we play three of the Territory Knights Grudge Arrow Dragon. Um, he's a 3-2-1, and this card, uh, when he's destroyed by effect, either mine or my opponent's, I can search for an item. Then, if I don't have an item, I can equip it by paying the card cost. This card is really good because it lets you play less items because you basically have six items. You have seven items because you, this counts as a searcher and equipper. Next, we play three of Needle, um, Purgatory Knights Needle Claw Dragon. Whenever this card is destroyed and put into the drop zone, it can come back to my hand. He's a 3 1 1 size 0. So this in this lets you have an, uh, three attacks frontward and one attack from the item, but it also gives you a card back in hand so you can play it and then just get it right back. Uh, this card is really good at uh, keeping the offensive up. Next, we play three Purgatory Knights, Evil Grief, Dragon. This card is 3-1-3, three, three, and, and during the attack phase, when this card is destroyed by the effect of a monster draw card, this is your draw engine. Like I said, pairing it with dice, you get to draw two cards total. This card is really good, really strong. Next play two, uh, Purgatory Knight Necro Palm Dragon. Whenever this card is destroyed, you get to call a size one other than itself from the drop zone by paying its call off if it should have one. This card is a 412. This card lets you toolbox and get multiple attacks. This is all it's for, it's just keeping the attack going. So it's like, because it says when it takes Next is a Tech 2 of that I'm uh, testing and so far I like, like right now. He played two Evil Sword Deity Dark Kaiser on. He's an 8 2 5, pay 1. Pay two and put a card from the top of the deck to the soul. This card is really good um, because it, it lets you remove soul from any card on the board to restand once per turn. Uh, I didn't see its potential until me and Trey talked about it. Uh, this card right now gives me a defense, so it lets me have my attack where I can, and I still have a defense that they have to get over to protect my life. Uh, so we played at two of. Next on the spells, we play four of uh, Weech tra Traverse the Blood Soap demonic path and this is the purgatory's first ever uh shield they get of their own clan specific well uh, archetype specific um i can only cast it if i don't have a monster in the center and i'm being attacked i nullify and then if i have a purgatory in the drop zone i gain a gauge uh this is basically a blue dragon shield 
for Purgatory Night so it keeps the gauge in up. Because at first I was struggling with gauge until I ended up putting these two back in. It's crushed that body and sustained mine. Uh, when a monster that filled with Purgatory Nights is destroyed by an effect, put it top, it gives me a gauge. And then if I would die, I can blow it up to know the top part of the spell. I gain two life and I uh, don't lose the game. This card is just really good for gauge in general. Next to play two Banquets of the Unrighteousness. I mill the top. I can, it has two effects. I can either mill the top three and add a monster from my from the three to my hand, and the rest go to drop some, or put a card from this from this uh, drop into a soul uh, into the soul. Uh, this just helps me give me my monsters if I'm short-handed. Next, I play two uh, Life Dwells in the Flames of Hades two. Um, when I'm dealt damage on my opponent's turn, I draw a card. Then if I have a Purgatory Knight on the board, I draw two. This is just a draw engine. It helps me keep hand advantage. Next, we play four of the one of the best uh, spells I think the Purgatory Knights got out of this set. The Purgatory Sorcery, Blood Oath Formation. It lets me draw a card if I have a Purgatory Knight on the board. And then all Purgatories on my board cannot be destroyed by effect or returned to hand. Uh, by your opponent's card effects. So this fixed the problem of our opponents uh, bouncing and destroying our cards, uh, our Purgatory Knights, uh, and messing up our formation of attacks. And gives us 10 events so we draw a card. Uh, three Purgatory Knights forever. Uh, this pays the gauge, take a damage. I can add two Purgatory Knights from the drops onto my hand, so this just lets me fit, give card, give me back cards I, can I need to play to turn the game around. So we play three of it. Next we play four Black Dragon Shields. Uh, nullify, reduce, by, reduce to zero, and then gain a life. Next we play four of the first ever per the, uh, good Purgatory Knight weapon, the Sword Purgatory Knight's leader, Gimeo's Sword. Pay gauge, and during my turn, when a Purgatory, on my foot is destroyed, I draw a card, and then I can give anything with Purgatory Knight's plus 3,000. So again, this is just increasing so I can get over uh, defenses I normally could, and giving me hand advantage. Uh, I really love this card. Next we play two of the Demio's sword, uh, Purgatory Knight's leader, Demio's sword execution. So pay two, return the originally size two or greater Purgatory Knight from the field of my hand. He's an 8 to 4, and he has the, the regular Demio's effect to destroy something to restand. Or if I destroy an opponent's monster, I restand them automatically off of the effect, off of that. Uh, this card is uh, really universal and pressuring my opponents. And then finally, we play two of the new Impact Genocide Punisher. This card is pay to gauge if your opponent's at a three or less life and neither one of y'all have monsters in the center. You deal three that can't be reduced or nullified. Uh, if you don't have three or less, like, or it just deals three damage and then counter final when they cast the final or the impact cost is technically it's an impact. Um, you deal damage equal to the number of purgatory knights in your drop zone that are different name. So you can do basically up to 10 really if you wanted to, if you have that many. And then, um, you would win first because it's counter speed, so your opponents wouldn't even activate because they would already have lost the game. So, say Trey, for instance, goes X Tempest Buster, and I counter final, and I can end his life first. Then his doesn't even activate, so I would win because mine's counter speed and it's quicker than his. Oh uh, well, I guess technically you could do that. But uh, this card is really interesting. I don't know how good it is yet. I've only used it once, and I didn't even use it for the counter. The counter final, I used it just for the regular three damage. Um, I'm still testing it. I'm going two and two right now. I don't know if I want to make this another one of this, or if I want to reverse it and make this a one of this. Um, so yes, that is the deck profile of the Purgatory Knight deck build. Um, it may get updated sooner or later. I might change some things. This is my first week of testing because we did get our stuff later than uh, everybody else did. So this is just the first build. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed and have a good afternoon.